Welcome, dear Gemini. Are you ready to dive into the mysteries of love this September? If you're single and want to know if you find love or how you will get on with your partner, make yourself comfortable and let's find out. Get ready to discover what September has in store for you. Let me shuffle the cards. The first card is the Queen of Wands. This is about how you feel at the moment, your approach in terms of your thoughts and actions and your outlook on the current situation. It reflects your emotions, your thoughts and actions in the context of your romantic connection. It provides you with an understanding how you perceive and engage with your relationship at this moment in time. For the Queens of Wands, for single Geminis, this card is a sign that you will meet somebody this month who is passionate and charismatic and whose magnetic personality is going to draw you in. This person is an extrovert, very confident and creative and also fiercely independent. Their fiery energy and adventurous nature will ignite sparks of attraction within you. If you're in a relationship, this card means that in September, your partner is going to bring excitement and passion into your life. Their vibrant and bold personality is going to add an extra spark to your relationship and it's going to put a smile on your face. Your partner has your back and fully supports your dreams and ambitions. He or she encourages you to pursue your passions. However, a word of caution, seeing that you both have very strong personalities, it's important that you're mindful and avoid potential conflicts. With two alphas in one household, there's always a fair chance that you enter into power struggles over something. There's also a tendency to have, to have a clash of opinions or that you disagree on something very strongly. Don't allow your emotions to take over and start an argument over things that aren't really worth it just because you want to win. Pick your battles carefully. If you're both mindful and manage to keep your cool, if you're open and talk honestly with each other, you stand a good chance of avoiding potential difficulties altogether or you can overcome them more easily. So get into the habit of always thinking before you speak and if you feel your temper rising, just cool down first before you attempt a clearing talk and you should be fine. So let us have a look at the second card, which is the Ace of Swords. This card represents your partner's current emotions towards you, their attitude, what they expect about the, from the relationship, and it gives you an idea on how they feel about the connection, their mindset and what they hope for the future. It shows you their emotional state and their perspective on the relationship. This card is good news for single Geminis because it stands for new beginnings and mental clarity in matters of love. This card suggests that you meet somebody who knows what they want this month. Someone who has a sharp intellect who's a great communicator and who knows exactly what he or she wants in life. This person can challenge and stimulate you mentally and bring a fresh perspective into your life. If you're in a relationship, this card is also good news because you will be able to communicate clearly with each other and it will lead to a better and deeper mutual understanding of each other. Your bond is strengthened by your honest conversations with each other and by sharing your ideas. This card could also mean that you start a project together in September with your partner or that you both make some important decisions together. That could be buying a house together or a new car or actually trying to have a hobby together. Remember to approach conflicts with openness and honesty and a willingness to find common ground. 
Although intellectual debates can be healthy, you need to be careful that they don't turn into arguments. So don't try and rock the boat. Instead, strive for harmony in your relationship. The key word here is compromise. So the third card is the connection card. It's the Eight of Pentacles. This is highlighting the common characteristics and shared values between you and your partner. It shows the qualities and attributes that bind you together and that create a strong bond between you. This card indicates the compatibility and synergy within your relationship. So if you're single, this card suggests that you take some time out for yourself to practice some self-care, self-improvement and personal growth. You need to focus on developing your own skills to meditate, to listen to your inner voice and find that inner peace. Do things that interest you, um, something what makes you happy. Remember, you need to love yourself before you can love or be loved by somebody else. Love is like learning a life skill. You need empathy, compassion, patience and understanding first of yourself before you can apply these things on, on a partner. When you feel happy within, you radiate this feeling of contentment and others will notice. So when you invest time in yourself, you actually increase the chances of attracting a partner who appreciates your dedication and ambition. If you're in a relationship, this card means that you need to be dedicated and work hard on your relationship. Take some time to, self -pra to practice self-care and meditate to get back on the path where you want to be. Maybe you need to improve your communication skills or learn new ways on how you can connect with each other. Find something that you can do together. Maybe you can work together on something or create new shared goals. This card acts as a reminder that relationships need constant, a constant effort and commitment in order for you to grow on a personal and mutual basis. Be mindful that you don't get overwhelmed or neglect other aspects of your life. You need to find a balance between your own needs and keeping the line open to communicate with your partner. So the fourth card, which is the Queen of Cups, is about the strength of your relationship. It reveals the positive aspects the supportive foundation and the resilience that exists between you and your partner. This card um, highlights the areas where your relationship thrives and the qualities that contribute to its stability and growth. If you're single, Gemini, the Queen of Cups could mean that somebody who cares, who somebody empathetic and nurturing is going to enter your life. This person is going to have a deep emotional intelligence and understanding. They give you the feeling of being seen, of being heard and being supported. This person is going to help you to find a sense of emotional balance in your life. For those of you Geminis in a relationship, this card indicates a time when you feel emotionally connected to your partner. You feel a deepened sense of intimacy. Your partner will be in tune with your emotional, and, um, emotional needs and give you the space you need to express yourself. Your partner is going to make you feel safe and protected and he or she is going to be understanding and compassionate towards you, offering you support when you need it. In short, they are your rock in the surf. But you need to be careful that you don't become too reliant on their support because it will eat away your self-confidence over time. There could also be a tendency that you over-idolize your partner, which, it, which can also be destructive in the long run. It could make your partner feel pressured with time because they may think they always have to be strong for you. It could also be that they might become controlling because in their view, you are not pulling your, your full weight in the relationship. It could even be that they, their respect for you suffers because of your constant needs, or that's how you might come across to them. So try and aim for a healthy balance of being independent, but also depend on each other within the relationship. So the fifth card 
shows the weaknesses or challenges that are in your relationship. And that's the King of Swords. These are areas that may need attention like communication or personal growth. It shows patterns of dynamics that may stop your relationship from progressing and it will allow you to reflect on the situation and find a solution. So if you're single, Gemini, this could mean that somebody who's intellectual, a logical, a logical thinker with a strong sense of justice is coming into your life. This is somebody who is highly intelligent, analytical, somebody who approaches love with a rational mindset rather than from the heart. This person likes honesty and clear communication, and they're probably going to challenge you intellectually. If you're in a relationship, then this card indicates a month of stability and rationality for you. Your partner will stand by your side with guidance and practical advice to help you tackle any challenges or obstacles that might, might arise. He or she is going to help you to achieve a balanced perspective when you need to make decisions. And your partner is going to encourage you to talk openly and honestly about whatever is on your mind. And although it's great to have a partner like that, you also need to be mindful that you don't become emotionally too detached from your partner. On the other side, there could be a tendency to put logic above emotions. This card is advising you to find a balance between reason and empathy so that you can continue to have a healthy and emotional connection with each other. So let's have a look at the last card, which is the true love card and that's the queen of swords um, this interprets the overall potential for success in your relationship and it takes all the cards that we draw that, that i drew previously into account so that it can provide you with a holistic perspective on the future of your connection it's the it represents the ultimate destiny of your relationship and gives you guidance on whether it has the potential for long-term happiness and fulfillment. So if you're single, Gemini, you may encounter somebody who's sharp-witted, independent and intelligent, who knows, what they, who knows what they want and who has clear boundaries. This person likes straight talk and intellect, intellectual stimulation. It could well be that this person may challenge you to think critically. It could be that you have a rough plan of what you want to do and you might be in the process of working out the details. And when this person comes along and picks your plan apart by pointing out the weaknesses, you may feel taken aback. But don't be offended. This person is actually helping you in their own way to challenge your way of thinking for a better outcome. So if you're in a relationship this month, you feel an intellectual connection with your partner and you will talk openly together. Your partner is going to be listening to you and he or she is going to encourage you to openly share your thoughts and your ideas. So September is going to be a month in which you both respect and under understand each other on many lev levels. So let me summarize everything for you single Geminis. The month may kick off a little slow due to the retrograde of cosmic ruler Mercury. However, as Venus goes direct in Leo on the 3rd of September, there may be a positive change in your love life. You may find yourself attracting potential partners who appreciate your creativity and your resourcefulness. With the sun aligning with Pluto in Capricorn on the 21st of September, there could be a powerful emotional release taking place. This could be something like settling a debt or cutting ties with somebody from the past. Um, you can expect somebody charismatic and passionate to enter your life. These potential partners are going to have very strong personalities. They bring excitement and adventure into your lives. They probably possess qualities like intellectual sharpness, emotional intelligence, or independence. And it's important for you to focus on personal growth and self-improvement so that you can nurture your own happiness and interests. When you invest in yourself, 
you increase the likelihood of attracting somebody who appreciates your dedication. However, challenges may arise from clashes of strong personality, so it's crucial that you communicate openly and honestly with each other. So if you're in a relationship, September brings opportunities for clear communication, for a deepened sense of intimacy and joint decision making. Your partners are going to provide support, understanding and intellectual stimulation. Um, there could be projects or shared goals that you need to do together and you have to be dedicated uh, and inspire each other to do these things. It's also important to approach conflicts with openness and a willingness to find common ground. Otherwise, it could lead to power struggles and differences in opinion. So the key for a healthy and harmonious relationship is to strive a balance, to compromise and to maintain open lines of communication. It's a happy and content month for those Geminis in, re in a relationship, and you'll most likely feel content with the desired results in, in terms of love matters. As Venus goes direct on September the 3rd, the dynamics of how you communicate with each other could be uplifted. Now, this could lead to a deeper connection and a better understanding between you and your partner. This is a really good time to express your feelings openly and to make plans for the future. However, keep in mind that Mercury, Mercury, your ruler, is still retrograde until the 15th of September. So there could be some minor communication glitches or misunderstandings that you need to sort out. But all in all, dear Gemini, it looks like September will be a good month for you, no matter whether you're single or in a relationship. Wishing you lots of love and let me know in the comments if this resonates with you and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon for more Celestial Wisdom.